Hey everybody, this is Anjanette from AJ's Personal Touch. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to my subscribers and welcome in to anybody new. I am so glad to see you here. I do apologize, I have not been doing many videos lately. I've been feeling a bit rough. That's all I'm going to say. Um, I am here to announce Cal number four for this year since we just finished cal number three cal number three was these water bottle squishies that are for a service project um that's being run by uh oh my goodness there we go snappy tots i'm like her real name is heidi I had it right on the tip of my tongue and I could not remember. I made two and uh, I know somebody else made two. There were two other people who had wanted to. One lives in an area where she went to go and get some cotton and they didn't have any of the colors that you could use because you had to use certain colorways. So, um, and the other one, her life has just been so busy right now, which I completely understand. So, just the two of us, and I figure, you know what? Four of them is better than none. So, I need to get those sent out. I believe we have till, I want to say it's September 15th or 19th, but I can't remember the exact date. If you decided to make one of these and not come in the virtual chat with us, just go um, to snappytots.com and um, the date that it has to be sent by is there. And I believe along with the address. If you need the address, I do have it. I bought the pattern. The pattern's just a dollar. I knew it was easy. I could just go off of the pattern that she had online. But I bought the pattern because she uses the money to go towards shipping. So the shipping that she has to ship it to the yarn. So she's putting it in a big box and then shipping it onto the yarn. Now on to Cal 4. Cal 4 is different than any of the cows I have done so far because Cal 4 is not a... pattern, which I had been talking about this Cal for a while. We were supposed to do it for Cal 3, and then I found the service project, so we did that instead. Is this the one that's, yeah, that is the one attached. Okay. Um, instead of a pattern, what I want you guys to do for those of you who have old whips lying around, like I do, I have a lot of whips that need to be finished. This is supposed to be my year of the whips, but it's really hard to get whips done when you have birthday gifts and all these other things that you want to get done. I'm hoping that next year I will get my mom's blanket done that I have. In my whips so many things I have a sweater I want to make my husband and yada yada I digress I have to deal with how I'm going to start redoing my schedule um, thinking about changing the cows up for next year but I haven't completely figured it out in my head yet what I want to do so for this cow, we will be working on an old whip. Now, you can still come in and join us if you want to. If you don't have whips, if you're one of those people who you finish a project before you um, move on to another one. But if you're like me, 
and you have old whips, plus you have four or five whips sitting around you that are new ones for this year. All of mine sitting around me are Christmas gifts, except for one that was an old whip that I had worked on for um, a crochet along that uh, Hannah was doing from Cozy Cottage. And it's pretty much, it's in the finished. If I went by the size that it's supposed to be, it's finished. So I went ahead and entered it, but um, I'm going to add some more onto it. Trying to make sure I'm looking this over. This has been in my craft bag that I had gotten from 30, what's, the, what's it called? 30 something or, I cannot remember the name of the, um, wow. And my friend is, my friend sells it and I can't remember. It's a, um, wow. When you sell things. <laughs> online. I used to do it. I used to sell Jamboree nails. I was a consultant for Jamboree nails and uh, yeah, my brain won't think of what kind of business that is. Anyway. Okay. This one's just really loose. I'm looking at this thinking that there were holes in it, but there's not. Okay. This is my whip I'm going to work on. I'm hoping that my friend is not watching this, who I am making this for her baby. Not a baby anymore. I want to say she's maybe four, maybe even five. But when I make baby blankets, I always make them oversized. If you look at the blanket that's on my um, heading for my YouTube channel, uh, the, the cover on my YouTube, I made that blanket for her brother when he was born. And my friend, she's like, well, that looks like the sunrise. So I would like you to make one that is the sunset. So that's what I'm doing with the colors on this. I took, this is a pattern by Yarn and Chai. And I changed the colors around to meet my needs. I have a piece of paper in here somewhere where I have completely put down what rows will be what colors. And I am sitting here looking at all of these ends that need to be tied in. And I am so mad at myself. Okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay. I'm thinking, I only left myself some really teeny, teeny, tiny ends. But what it is, is I did not, um, I crocheted over them for a little bit. And that's the little bit that's left out. Okay. So I can always pull it out from the end if I want to when I go to when I go to sew them in. So the only thing about this is when I change the colors, I have all these ends. And since I haven't sewn any of them in yet, I have all of them from the beginning to do, which won't be too terribly bad. This is very, very drapey, as you can see. The yarn that I'm using is from Hirschner's. It's called Village Yarn Smooches. I don't even know if they still have this yarn. I'm going to assume that they do or something like it. It is, it says it's a size three light, but this, if you look at this, to me, that's more of a sport weight. That is a really teeny, teeny, tiny to be a DK weight. Sixty percent acrylic, forty percent nylon. So that explains why it is so nice and drapey. 
I believe this pattern is made with the moss stitch. I'm going to actually have to look up the pattern um, to remember how you go from row to row. I know once you get started, it's really easy. I'm trying to look at this. Oh, I thought this is what I had. Huh. I thought this is what I had the, um, the rows written up on. Oh, I hope that paper is in here. If that paper is not in here, I don't know what I'm going to do. It's not in there. Hopefully I can find it. <laughs> I had it all written out. Purple was going to be the main color on this end, and then I'm using this variegated color right now, but then it's supposed to go into using all these colors I have in here, which I have a blue multi, I have a light yellow, it's more purple. I have this light purple, gray, and pink. And this yellow. And that's all of them. That's all the different colors that I have. But I am not seeing the paper in here with the directions, but I have more pockets to go through. So I'm not going to freak out yet. But I was going to take it from the darker to the lighter to make it look like a sunset and how the sunset, you know, will will do that actually it, you know, sometimes it'll go from dark to light, sometimes it'll go from light to dark. And it does have instead of um a border all around, it has a it was the first time that I'd ever done an edging like this, which is basically doing with how you do your cuffs and your um, waistbands and, and stuff like that. I can't think of what it's called right now. I know what it's called. When I hear it, I'll know exactly what it's called. I'll just say edging for right now. That might be the right word, but my brain just does not want to look at it. So that's what it looks like for now. In the one that... um. She does on yarn and chai. I want to say it's blue and white. It's like, yeah, I think it's more nautical. It's like a navy, a navy blue in white stripes. And that's it. I believe it's just the two colors. But when I asked my friend what colors she wanted for her, she said, well, since you did a blanket that looks like the sunrise for my son, I want you to do one that looks like the sunset for my daughter. So it's like, okay, I will do that. So this is the blanket and this is what I am going to work on for cow number four because I want to get it done so I can send it to her and her daughter can finally have it. And again, when I make my baby blankets, and a lot of you guys know this already, I make them larger. And at the time that I was working on this, I did not have a... Uh, um, a yarn bowl. So this is my makeshift yarn bowl. I had seen somebody do this, talk about it on a blog because it was before I was watching YouTube. And where you take one of these types of clips and you just run the yarn through it, put it on a bowl. And it's a makeshift yarn bowl. So there you go. We are going to be starting on Tuesday. Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm not sure how long it's going to run, at least a month. So since this is the end of, I wanted to say July, but August, it will run through to either the total end of September or like the week before, like it is right now. The next one will be a market bag. I'm pretty sure September, October. Yeah, because 
up to you guys. I don't know if I'll take December off. I can't remember if I took December off last year. I know I took a couple weeks off. We may have come back after Christmas, but I can't remember. I honestly can't remember. I will have to go and look. I, I will have to go look. Um, but more than likely, we'll take all of December off because it's just such a busy time of year. And um, I know I will be working on trying to get projects done that I'm giving people as gifts for Christmas. So, um, yeah, I want to do the, I have a market bag one that I wanted to do right before Christmas. That way you could keep it for yourself or give it to somebody else. And if we have one more to do, I honestly, I don't know what it'll be right now. Oh, I wanted to do one from the service, um, from the service blog hop that Helen is doing, um, with Sandra. I can't remember Sandra's last name. I'm sorry, Sandra. So I wanted to pull one from there. And again, it's something that you would make to give away to somebody. So, um, because it's a service project blog hop. I believe as of right now, there's a, it's a cowl that I have picked out that I wanted to do from there. So we should have time to get a market bag and a cowl done. I'm almost positive, you know, working through, um, October and November. So at least two more projects to go. So with that, I'm going to let you guys go. I am so sorry that I am just like back and forth right now. I have a migraine that I'm dealing with today. They are supposed to come and start working on the house tomorrow. So there's going to be a lot of nail gun. Um, hearing the power tools being used. My husband said not a lot of like banging with a hammer, but more of the nail gun, but still that's going to be loud. And um, yeah, my head is not going to appreciate it. So as far as I know, we will be starting this on Tuesday. They're supposed to be done with what they're working on right now by Tuesday, but we do not know if they will be going right into the bathroom or if there's going to be time between them doing what they're doing now and then working on the bathroom. So it's kind of up in the air. I may have to cancel Tuesday. I don't want to, but we will see. I also don't know what time of day, you know, they will finish up to go home. So as of right now, Tuesday, we are starting the new crochet along. If you want to do the virtual with us, I always put a link up to um, to the virtual group, which I use um, Google Web. I think that's what it's called, or Web Google, the webcam on um, Google. It's kind of like Zoom, but I use the free one. And so, when you have more than two people, you're only allowed to be in there for an hour. So what I do is I make two links. I make a link from five to six and then a new link from six to seven. So we just go from the one into the other. And it's been working really well because a lot of people will stop, use the potty, you know, take a break, get something to drink, whatever they need to do in between the two. So it, it's been working fine. No complaints so far. So I put the links in my group on Facebook. And then I also send them out um, in emails to those that I know for sure are doing the, um, the crochet along with me. So if you've never done one and you really want to do this one, you want to, you know, work on an old whip and get it taken care of and just work on it when we're doing the virtual twice a week, then come and join us. Let me know. Send me an email. My email address is down below. 
and I will add your email to the list that I send the links to. So you'll get two links for each day. Um, and that lets you get in automatically into the group. Although there are like one or two people that for whatever reason, it doesn't let them straight in. We have not figured it out because they have downloaded the app if they're using their phone, they have downloaded it to their phone and it still doesn't let them in. I don't have the app downloaded because I don't use my phone, I use my laptop, but I still didn't download the app. I go through my um, email, my Google email, and um, if you go into settings, you can allow to use it uh, for chat because there's regular chat on there like in Messenger, which I don't use it for that, but you can use it for the web browsing as well. And, um, well, not browsing, but webcam. You can use it for webcam calls. And all you have to do is click on there that you accept to use it for that, and it should let you automatically in. Now, I know the people who have told me that they had to download it, I think originally they just, they just used the link from the room, but I do believe if you have the link emailed to you that it should let you straight in. So with that, I'm going to go. I love you guys. I may be doing another video today. I don't know yet. Instead of a migraine, I'm trying to get completely rid of, but in our working in our garage, um, I found some things that I want to show you. And I just want to talk about this experience and um, kind of as a warning for if this ever happens to you, to make sure that you don't do what we did. Um, so I think I may do a um, chat with you while I crochet. So. We'll see. I have a couple things I need to do. I have a bill to pay, but I didn't want to add it on to this because I wanted this just to be for those people who wanted to watch this. And then um, I can add a chat on where I sit and crochet and chat with you guys separately. So with that said, I'm going to go. Remember you matter. Remember you're beautiful and you're gorgeous and I love every one of you. And I will talk to you soon. Mm -hmm. I love you.